This video is about entering a command using the web interface to operate the Mecha 500 robot. The first thing we have to do is to turn on the Mecha 500 robot. Once it's power up, we connect the TCP IP cable to our laptop. Then we open the browser. In this case, I use Firefox to connect. This is the IP default IP address. We can change the default IP address to other address if we need to. We can also connect other robot um, daisy chain connection with different IP address. Then we have to do connection press connect and we have to activate the robot it will take few seconds that click is the robot releasing its brake then because this is the version 2 of Mega 500 we have to do um, a complete homing process with the version 3 the homing process will be much simpler because the version 3 have the absolute encoder so it's just wiggle but since this is the version 2 we need to wait until it complete the whole homing process there is many things we can do um, using this web interface we can do manual jogging the joint jog here and Cartesian jog um, but at this time we want to concentrate on how to enter command several command make it a program and run it I also want to activate this button so it will show the position of the end effector let's start with the drawing a square so I'm gonna enter um, all the command here see once I enter the right command it's changed from black to blue then I just have to enter the number That's the first command. If I press this button, it will run just this line. If I already have more command here, I have to press this button to run all the command. So let's start entering the second command. third one and no we can do copy actually so I'm gonna do a copy and paste to make it faster change this value another copy and paste sorry with the movement i'm holding the camera while and i'm entering this oh 
Oops. Let's see. Okay. Let's run this. I'm gonna press this button. So we're gonna run the spoon command. And the robot is now moving. Let's do a loop. So I just press this button to do a loop so it won't stop. And let's take out this one. Okay, let's press play. As you can see, this robot now is making a rectangular move once you're done you can press stop then you can save this program see save file press this button save press ok I'm gonna save it in my hard drive Title Rectangle. Press save. And if I want to upload this program into the robot, I have to deactivate this robot first. Just like that. See now this icon show up. I press this button, save offline program. It's saved to the robot. So if I disconnect this TCP IP cable, I can press play here and this robot will play this offline program that I just uploaded. We're not going to do that right now. I'm going to do other things. So let me try to upload a different program here that I have in my hard drive. I name it um, Closing Dance with a higher velocity. I'm gonna click open I'm gonna load so this is a different program now and I'm gonna press play oops I have to activate it again I forget it's active now we need to do the homing sequence again If I do not deactivate the robot, I will I will not have to do the homing sequence. It's just because I deactivate the robot, that's why. So now it's ready. Let's click play. The robot moves much faster now. This is a different program that I made with um, the joint velocity set at maximum. And you also can see it move right here on the animation. That's all for now and thank you.